Hi guys, awesome that you've tuned in. Today I am showing you a very cool and interesting comparison. This time, the Omega C Master 300 AM Diver, better known as the SMP 300, compared to the Seiko Marine Master 300. Absolute two watches that I have here in my hand and a very rare opportunity for us to have them side by side. Well, but what would I start here? Well, the way how these watches are looking is completely different. We have here the coaxial 8800 movement bearing the Seamaster and we have here the 8L35 Grand Seiko base caliper in this one. And I don't know if it's just me or could we really witness here that the Seiko truly has a smoother second hand than the Omega? Let me know in the comments below what you think. I would almost think that the Grand Seiko uh, movement really is a little bit smoother. Yeah, well, due to its... Uh, uh, specifications of course Um, how to start how to start with what to start um i would like to say both are a little bit um hold in blue while the omega has a more light bluish tone to it very interesting to see how much work omega really put in this dial to get it done like that it's unbelievable coating ceramic coating is unbelievable what they did here gotta say that printing is very crisp and the lines that you have here as a wave sweeping through the dial are just incredible. And what I really like about the watch is not only its color theme that they have here. Like, you know, you have the blue bezel insert with the blue hands. Um, It's not like that. It's the play. It's the play of the hands and the printing along with the insert of the bezel in light. Look at that. Look at that going to try to try to get it some look at that look at the hands what the hands are doing and it's it's an unbelievable beautiful play let me go a little bit far far away and that is the reason why i decided to not guys to not go with the black version because the black version has just even though very very beautiful of course but it's just um you know uh polished hands and uh I did not like that. I mean, for the contrary, it was cool. But even though I would wish myself to have it a little bit less blingy if you would like to buy a black watch. However, however, let's get on to the second bad boy here. Or bad girl, or however you would like to call it. Um, it's a very hefty watch, guys. I mean, I have here the Omega inclusive, the bracelet. And I can, I can really say, man, it's almost as heavy with a rubber strap as if you're holding the Omega on, in the hand. So very, very interesting part in that one. And what I know about the watch is that the hour markers in the hands along with the second hand are in white gold, while the second, of course, is in yellow gold, as you see here, um, which the Omega not. It just is a stainless steel. I mean, the frame is beautiful. And now you have the blue frame there in that uh, just it just looking pretty i mean a uh, very cute watch to wear of course uh for uh dive expeditions perfectly uh made and built um the seiko is really somehow missing the gas escape valve we have it here to screw why omega put it on here i don't know we're not going to scuba dive a thousand meters we're going just to scrape on the 300 meter mark well anyhow however uh, both watches have been executed very well omega is playing a lot with brushed and of course polished surfaces very interesting i'm asking myself how in the world did they manage to get this type of a brushing at the case beautifully made beautifully executed and of course the seiko here is shining through its seratsu polishing and we all know seratsu polishing is really coming from the grand seiko from the grand seiko facility so what you probably don't know is that it, this marina master really is a uh, it's getting built. It's getting built at the Grand Seiko Studios 
and the dial of course is also assembled there the movement that is this watch bearing uh, is also a um, grand seiko base caliber uh that um is you mostly used in the gs models a very 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 known workhorse movement but super precise um well this is it guys um it's the best that I could to show you these two watches. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm super proud that I'm able to show you these kind of watches into the camera. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the watch. And now finally, let's put those watches onto my wrist and see how they are really fitting my 175 in conference uh, wrist size. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, very, very, very comfortable Omega. We're talking about... Uh, pretty heavy watch and it's still very comfortable due to its height um i truly truly love that watch and if you are in the summer and your wrist starts to swell a little bit up there's no problem just push here that little button and play around with the adjustment from the clasp absolutely a stunning watch um, guys, I would really love to know your opinion about the watch. Did you ever came around one? Did you already bought yourself one? It's really cool to know about your experiences of the watch so we all can really talk about it. Now, let's put on this bad boy and uh, all together just think about for a second and uh, yeah, give our verdict for the watch. So, what can I say between um, my wrist uh, of 175 wrist conference inside the watch is fitting really perfectly we have short locks we gotta hide here pretty substantial i would say but i would say marine master has to be like that it has to be a hefty watch a high um, building watch and this is what grand seiko really makes out for me i mean a very good and interesting built watch coming directly from japan so many little details that are just cute in that watch look at that look at that yeah this beautiful blue dial and the shimmering second hand in 14 karat i think yellow gold absolutely gorgeous gorgeous and then they have the brushed so incredible brushed date disc there printed with a black number uh and when you then compare this bad boy or bad girl however you call it um it has also sort of painted silver uh, super well integrated i would say painted silver date disc with blue uh yeah blue number on it i'm very cool i mean super incredible watch with a see-through case back oh, just just stunning guys it is just freaking stunning. I love it. I really do. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about that review. Should I do more comparisons? And uh, yeah, if you would like to see more of them and uh, would like to also go over my shorts, I would really appreciate that. Then just hit the like button and subscribe. We're going to see us in the next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.